Uh, I think the association worked hard uh, and we should give thanks to to the association for preparing us for this AWC. We started uh, the year actually preparing for AWC last year, December, when we had a program to start training. When people were having festive season, enjoying, we knew that uh, our aim was to qualify for the World Cup and eventually make it to the final of AWC. And we kick-started our journey with uh, two friendlies against Sweden in January in South Africa. We went on to participate in the Cyprus Cup uh, where we... Uh, gave our best performance and came out uh, sixth in, in the tournament. We went on to qualify for AWC, um, winning both our games. And then we we played Kosafa Cup in, in South Africa. We had uh, uh, people that were invited and the teams was uh, Uganda and, and, and Cameroon. And we, we knew that then and then we had to prepare and we faced Cameroon in the final and we wanted to retain our title. And then we pray, played two friendlies against Chile, also two good friendlies uh, because they've qualified for the World Cup and you knew that we had to prepare to play teams in Africa and also prepare to play teams that have qualified for the World Cup. And playing against Chile, we had two good games, although we lost the first game and we drew the, the second game. It was, I think, one of the best performances that we've had in a while and that really motivated us to come into AWC and want to work hard. That's it there. Uh, Tembi Gatlana, South African forward, who was actually the top scorer uh, at this tournament, basically saying they are ready for tomorrow's final against Nigeria. So we'll leave it at that for now. And uh, by the time we come back on Monday, we'll be hoping to celebrate uh, Falcons uh, winning uh, the title for ninth time. Time to look at the UEFA Europa League games that went down uh, yesterday. We saw Arsenal in action. We saw Chelsea in action. Those two sides have already qualified for the round of 16, and they both recorded very convincing victories. Uh, yeah, I mean, Arsenal, my goodness. How many games now? <laughs> I'm, I'm 18. I'm yeah. It's ridiculous. It's, 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 it's very ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> it's, 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 it's remarkable. Let's be... Don't, don't let them start. Yeah. Don't let start. Let's take a look at ben the results. Ben is so, now. so yeah. glad. Let's, take a, let's roll through the results. Mm. A lot to pick from, but we picked out a few. Uh, talk about the big teams in that, in that one. You have... Uh, uh, Bayer Leverkusen and Ludo Goretz playing a one-all draw. Rosenborg and Celtic. Celtic won that. Uh, the one uh, Tyre just talked about, Bordeaux and uh, Slavia Prague, 2-0 uh, in favor of Bordeaux. Zenis and Petersburg, 1-0 over FC Cooper again. Fenerbahce uh, played a draw with uh, Dinamo Zagreb. And you have Karabag losing 1-6 to uh, Sporting uh, Lisbon. And you have the, the last few ones that, that we have, uh, the results that has uh, Arsenal and also has... Uh, as well as Chelsea. Chelsea uh, defeated um, Park Thessaloniki for nil, and you also have Arsenal winning uh, their own in that one. Three nil for the Arsenal. A very young side, uh, you know, put out there by Unai Emery, and they scored three goals against uh, uh, the uh, uh, Russian uh, uh, opposition. So Arsenal, quickly, one minute. You're impressed. I imagine you are impressed. I'm impressed, and I think uh, the most impressive thing is that there's a young Nigerian or you know, a young player that was training, mm. you know, and uh, all the young so players, all, all the, the young, young players, all the young players, and I, this was the, the philosophy Smith. that was enunciated by uh, Venga. Professor Asen Venga, mm. and I think that Emery, despite saying he came to rescue the team, mm. is also following that philosophy, Absolutely. saying that if I go to Europa, let me test new players. Especially if you have qualified. Is especially if exactly. you have qualified. Exactly, you can afford to do that. And he's on top of the group now, and I think that this is the year for Arsenal to win. All right. And, and win well. Okay. All right, then. Let's, before we go on yeah, the break. Yeah, let's take a look at uh, big games. Matches. Big games across uh, Europe. We've selected quite a few. We'll let Ben in, in a minute. Derby day. Arsenal The real now. test. A lot of people say <laughs> the real test. That's, that's why yeah, he arrested all those players, right? Yes, <laughs> I, I, I suspect so. <laughs> uh, Messi side derby, Liverpool and Everton. You just, uh, ben, just give us the, the, your predictions. <laughs> the viewers have seen this already, but, but your thoughts? I, 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 th I think too much about Arsenal. But if they are taking on Tottenham, that yeah. last time they took the down... Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea, okay. you know, they took Chelsea to the cleaners. Took I down think Inter I think recently. Too. Took yeah. down Inter recently. Tell us so it's going it's go, it's to be, it's gonna be very tight. Mm. And uh, But I think Arsenal are playing at home at the Emirates. Okay. I think uh, I foresee a 2 1 win <laughs> for the Gunners. The Gunners. Uh, okay, that's, that's a bold call. Liverpool, it's going to be tight. Liverpool Everton quickly. Liverpool Everton, another derby. Another, another derby. Mm. I think that. 
the Liverpool town derby is um, almost always unpredictable. Nice side. Everton is doing very well now. Decent. I see a draw there. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Liverpool fans, please forgive me. <laughs> but that is my thought. <laughs> right. At least they are not losing yet. <laughs> Draw at Anfield. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh, I guess we just uh, leave, leave it at that mm. and uh, go uh, on uh, a break. And of course, when we return from that break, we'll take a look at the picture.